I'm going to preface this section with a note that many of these places are located nearby other museums or sites we've mentioned, so feel free to double dip on your fun. Exploring Baltimore is a great way to spend the day. We'll start with the very convenient Inner Harbor area, a short walk east down Pratt Street in front of your hotel. Alongside the National Aquarium, you have several great options. Look up into the sky because the 27th floor of the World Trade Center in Baltimore offers an incredible 360 degree view of the city and harbor. For $8, you can have access to a spot with amazing views and a great photo opportunity to remember your trip here in Baltimore. On either side of the World Trade Center, you'll find a series of piers that have more great attractions. Pier 1, towards your hotel, holds the USS Constellation, the last sail-only warship built by the US Navy in 1854. And if you can catch it right, you can watch a crew run drills and fire the cannons. Nearby, on Pier 3, you'll find the lightship Chesapeake and the submarine USS Torsk, both of which offer tour access. Pier 5 offers the US Coast Guard Cutter 37 in the carefully relocated Seven Knoll Lighthouse. You may also notice a few odd white snail-like machines in the water too. Say hi to Mr. Trash Wheel, one of several solar-powered water wheels invented in Baltimore that collect floating trash from waterways that feed the harbor. In its first year of operation, Mr. Trash Wheel kept almost 1 million pounds of trash out of the harbor. It's been so successful that there are several more around the harbor working hard to keep it clean. If you like libraries and want to see one of the most stunning in the world, head up to 17 East Mount Vernon Place to the Peabody Institute of Johns Hopkins. Begun in the 1860s and focused on 18th and 19th century texts, the collection numbers more than 300,000 volumes. This fantastic library is often considered among the most beautiful in the world and its gorgeous five-level, 60-foot high atrium will leave you breathless. It's Halloween, so let's talk about another cemetery. Built in 1839 on a rural estate, now surrounded by city, Greenmount Cemetery is a historic rural garden cemetery noted for the large number of historical figures interred in its grounds, as well as many prominent Baltimore area families. Some names include Johns Hopkins, John Wilkes Booth, and Elijah Bond, who invented the Ouija board right here in Baltimore. Individuals may visit and maps are supplied for a stroll in the park-like space. And if you ask around, maybe you'll hear a few of the ghost stories. For all of you artists out there, check out Graffiti Alley in the Station North Arts District. Spraying graffiti in the state of Maryland is illegal, except for one hot spot in Baltimore where it's encouraged, Graffiti Alley. This L-shaped alley is owned by the Graffiti Warehouse and you can never predict what designs you're gonna see next considering how frequently it is repainted over. You see it in the background of a lot of musicians' shots and it's always different. And if you're really interested in the graffiti scene, the Graffiti Warehouse, a studio filled with street art dedicated to local artists, is located just adjacent to the alley. The alley is hiding behind the motor house on North Ave and Howard Street and is open to all. Baltimore is a very green city with small and large parks in nearly every neighborhood. We'll talk about just a few here. A short walk from the hotel will bring you to Rash Field, along the harbor with outdoor game spaces, a great skate park, and wonderful views. Just above it towers Federal Hill, the former defense fortress overlooking the harbor. Both offer plenty of space to run, roam, or just relax with a book or a meal. The free Charm City Circulator banner route and the water taxis will take you here if you're already out for the day. If you crave the options of a really big park, head east to Patterson Park. Dominated by the massive green space of the same name, with a swimming pool, ice skating rink, tennis and basketball courts, and boat lake. The park hosts summer concerts at its restored Victorian Pagoda, plus events like a Halloween lantern parade, blue truck festival, and Latino fest. Cozy eateries nearby serve casual fare and bar food, and the Creative Alliance Art Center, anchoring the southeast corner, has movie nights, theater, galleries, and live music.